Good afternoon, guys. So I'm back at the Sunset Boulevard after I think roughly uh, two or three months ago that we did the last update. What you're looking at is this part right here that leads to the Sook section. As you can see, there are still some pockets of water right here due to the rains that has been uh, brought about by the uh, last typhoon. It has been, I think, at least two weeks already. And we have a pocket of sunset for maybe just uh, two days, roughly. I was supposed to drive from Sook to this part but uh, I think I'm gonna be stranded in the middle because of the parts where there are some watery areas that uh, would uh, make our motorbike slip along uh, this part of the road so currently I would estimate maybe uh, if there are uh, less of the rains in the coming months so it would be uh, faster in piling up the new sand and some gravel over here or the rocks maybe like this one so that they, can, they could lay out the uh, cement already so I would estimate this is maybe at least six months more so this part right here leads to the mega world section as you can see right there and we'll just do some short walk going to the area of the mega world there are no uh, uh, major uh, changes except that they I think the road now is wider so they have placed more of the soil on, on this on both sides on the right side and on the left side and there have been rain so there is no major progress so I think they are they are going to uh, build somewhat like a small dike on both sides in probably more soil so that this area right here would be higher I can see that they are trying to do some probably some soil testing because of the uh, piles that have been here over there so we are closing in on the pile so we can see the markings previously the, uh, the crane was here but now I think uh, they said they, it was transferred to the other side maybe on the sook section in which the uh, Sunset Boulevard crossing the uh, C1 highway it's still uh, too difficult to drive with a motorbike even the soil itself is still soft So we have one pile here for uh, soil testing, you can see the markings over there, it's, uh, per meter markings, like in this case that's 33 and it's one meter after that's 34. You can see already two of them are here so this one and then the other one this one I think is deeper you 
can see the markings that is 47 meters already while the other one is I think much higher which is uh, on the 46th we have some uh, I think some drainage pipes that lets the water uh, go out go into the Ilo Ilo River already there are still some communities left over this part right here I'm not sure if they are going to be relocated in the future but uh, one thing is prominent, some of the houses are no longer here. The last time we are here, there are still some of the houses on this part. But now it has been cleared. So the, uh, this area, well probably some of them will be relocated in the future because this area right here would uh, take up more space, it could be much wider than uh, it is currently. So you can see Mega World already on this part after uh, crossing the fence so most probably because this is this part right here is already cement which connects to the uh, mega world so they have to probably build a much wider road in the future and then probably build a uh, drainage system to let the uh, flow of water from the fish ponds which is this part right here and let the water flow go into the Ilo Ilo river Okay, so this is just a quick update of the Sunset Boulevard. If uh, dry weather would be permitting, then probably we could try to drive from the Mega World section going to the Sook section. So from here up to this part right here. We'll do uh, future updates as the uh, project uh, progresses. Thank you for watching guys.